I have a strange exhortation for you in the midst of all this insanity, guys. Are you ready for it? And this comes from St. Paul when he was in prison awaiting his execution. And by the way, you think you have it bad? Nero was his president. <laughs> he used to like to take Christians, cover them in tar, impale them and light them on fire to light his palace at night. And in those dire circumstances, St. Paul says, while he was being canceled, rejoice. What? Rejoice. Guys, there's so many ways that we need to engage the culture war. The battle for life, the battle for a resurgence in Christian culture and civilization, the battle to save souls. But most urgent, we need to become people of joy again. Because if we lose that, what the heck are we inviting people to? Why would we expect anyone to be attracted to what we're about? Rejoice. Before you rebuild anything, rebuild your joy, brothers and sisters. When God's people were in exile, and they were being called to go home and rebuild their fallen city walls, this could have been a death sentence in the ancient world. City walls were a big deal. Without city walls, people could throw spears at you. You had no protection. And in that crazy context, Nehemiah told the people of God, the joy of the Lord must be your strength. Joy is a summons to spiritual battle, my brothers and sisters. I'll tell you, on the spiritual battlefield that is 2021, the devil might be afraid of strategic Christians. He's afraid of well-educated Christians. He's afraid of wealthy Christians. He is terrified of joyful Christians. <laughs> 